guys. So I have a uh, unexpected video today. Um, I wasn't expecting to make this video and I actually forgot that I ordered this in the mail and then it came in the mail uh, like it should have. Um, and I was just like, oh yeah, I ordered that. So today, as you can tell by the title, I've wrapped my roof already and it turned out pretty good for our first try. And I wanted to try and tackle my mirrors by myself, so I have no idea how this is gonna go. Um, it could go really well. Tomorrow we're actually installing, I don't know if you can see that, that is one of the boxes back there. If you follow us on Instagram, you might have a good idea of what we're doing to the car tomorrow. But tomorrow is gonna be the big install day for the front of this car, and this is gonna be kind of like one of the steps for that um, and then tomorrow's video is going to be a separate video um, so yeah I mean I don't really know what else to say other than I want to try and do this and see what it looks like I've seen it on other cars and I really like the way it looks in pictures so I don't know how to look in person so this is obviously a wrap from premiumautostyling.com so I just went with the gloss black to match the roof and uh, we're just going to clean up this mirror because that is a extremely important part if you're going to be wrapping anything. Um, the most important part is going to be cleaning the surface before you actually put anything on there. as it's gonna get I think. So I think I'm gonna start from this back corner um, right here and then stretch out this way. I feel like if I start the more with the most pointy side first that would be the smartest thing to do um, and then just lay it on the top and sides and kind of follow this line right here. All right I gotta stop talking and just start doing it. I'm getting there. <laughs> I got a little bit uh, frustrated at one point, but I think the thing to remember when you, especially when you're wrapping on your own and it's really difficult um, and it's kind of a difficult area, do not be afraid to just pull the whole thing off and then restart. Um, because I was kind of backing myself into a corner and then when I was trying to fix one wrinkle, it was causing another wrinkle and I'm actually not even using the heat gun that often. Um, I will heat gun it a little bit after I'm done. Do not be afraid to just pull it off because that was the best thing that I did. As I was getting a little bit frustrated that I couldn't get this this um, back corner right here right and then I realized I didn't have enough material on this side so I just pulled the whole thing off and then I restarted and now I'm uh, much better off than I was. So I have this back side right here pretty good. Um, I just am going to work on um, kind of working through this direction as I said before. Um, this side over here is pretty much done. This part I'm not worried about. If it's this wrinkly, I can pull out these wrinkles no problem and then just use the heat gun to re-shrink it. So it was just this back corner that was the hardest part. So this is really, really smooth now. It looks really, really good. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I think it's gonna look awesome. So let's keep going. So I have one mirror officially done. I can't say that I'm like extremely happy with it. So um, everything went really well, except when I started cutting this bottom edge down here. Um, a lot of the excess, um, let's see if I can show you. Some of the excess down here that's supposed to be tucked under actually wrinkled a little bit. And I've tried, um, I've really, really tried to smooth that out as much as possible, but there are a few wrinkles down here that I just can't seem to get out. Um, like this one right here, there's a couple along the bottom here, and there's a few over here. All of the other sides are really nice, um, and there's really no wrinkles at all in them. Um, they're cut really well. Um, it's just this bottom side down here that's just, for some reason, it's not wanting to stick down very much. 
um, at all. It just keeps flapping up. It's a small little angle down here, but I would much rather it be perfect. <laughs> So I made a decision. I made a decision that I haven't made a decision yet, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I wrapped this mirror and I like it. I like it, but I don't love it. Um, and honestly, like, I really like the way the blue looks. It's just like, I feel like it looks cleaner and I don't want to take away from the clean look of the car. Let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, I should do black with like, kind of like, pretty good job, but it's still a little bit wrinkly and I don't, I'm not extremely happy. I, I think I can get the other side better um, just because I have experience doing that side. Here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna end this video here and tomorrow when we install all the stuff on the front of the car, if you guys seem to like the black, then when I'm at Jordan's house tomorrow, we will both wrap that other mirror um, just to kind of wrap it up. But for now, I'm just gonna run a blue mirror and a black mirror. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna go to work like that and just be a little different. I, I don't I really don't want to just like throw stuff on the car just because I can um, Because trust me there are so many things I could get for this car and just throw it on there but I, I Want to be happy with everything that I do every little detail um, That I put on this car and I want to put thought and, and effort into it so you know, when I do something like this, where I'm not like 100% happy with it, but I think it looks cool, um, I definitely want to take a step back and think about it before I commit to the other side. Um, and that way, if I do want to do the other side and keep the black, um, Jordan and I can do a better job on that side uh, when we have a little bit more time. So. So again, I'm super pumped about tomorrow. We have a bunch of things that are going on the front of the car. And uh, some of you guys already know what it is because you follow us on Instagram and you've guessed it. Um, I posted a picture with all the boxes in front of the car. So if you haven't seen that, go over to our Instagram. It is on the screen now again. Um, and follow us there for extra content and things like that. But uh, we will catch you guys very soon in the next one with the front of this car. And it's gonna be awesome.